may have eternal life. Let's face it, we fall again and again and again. We fall repeatedly because of our infidelities and our blindness of love. We fall, we fall when something becomes too much for us and lose heart and faith in situations that seem unbearable and which seem to offer no way out, no way of getting up again. Later on, the small community of Catlin Bay gathered to participate in a short but solemn procession. This Catalan custom is likely to be linked to the Genoese Langton tradition, where images of Our Lady and the Dead Christ are possessed out of the church. What is important is to think about that Our Lady of Sorrows um, is the traditional uh, seafarer's patroness in Italy, not in Spain. Spain is Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Don't ask me why, okay? But the reason in Italy because, uh, uh, is because so many have lost their lives at sea that many mothers identify themselves with Mary at the cross of Jesus. And at the cross of Jesus, um, automatically you have a flashback to Simeon when he says, a sword will pierce your heart. You know, this is why um, these statues are a bit morbid and it's got a sword, you know. But the whole idea of the sword comes from the prophecy of Simeon when Jesus was presented in the temple. So you see, it's a, a, a going from the very moment that Mary presents him at the temple to when Jesus presents himself to the Father at Calvary.
the second thing we would say is that uh, having chosen Mary as the model of that that suffers at the foot of the cross, um, she is the one that accompanies her son. Um, In a Lenten Lenten tradition. The Holy funeral, this tradition, however, is Jesus well observed by faithful uh, of all ages. To his burial, followed by his mother, eh, who is there looking at, with tears towards her son. This particular procession has always been well attended by the community and have taken part in this for many years. A community that comes together to not only have shared the Eucharist of the Liturgy of the Hour at three o'clock, in which we remember that the Lord died, but they go this extra mile eh, to accompany in this very old, yet very meaningful uh, service. Um, it starts with uh, the Stations of the Cross, um, and then automatically afterwards we go down round the village and back to the church. It's very simple, it's very, um, not very colourful, but yet a very mournful and beautiful service. It is very interesting that the, both Our Lady and Our Lord are carried by the young men of Catalan Bay. It's a tradition that carries on alive. It's certainly not dead. Um, it's a tradition that roots us back to the past, and we cannot understand the present without looking at the past, so that we are joyful for the future. And the future is that, you know, we need to um, be aware of these traditions. They're there to help us. They're not there to cling us to the past. Um, if you were going to ask me, should we um, change it for a horogram? Well, if that is going to speak to the people, yes. Um, the time may come. At the moment, this is the way we do it and the way we keep to the past to live the present looking forward to the future. 